All right, welcome. This is a quick little map review of Western Wilds. We're going to take a flyover and just look at it. If you haven't played it, it's pretty good. If you liked uh, No Man's Land, you'll probably like this one too. Pretty good little map. Uh, currently got a little series going on it right now. Um, so, if you're into that kind of stuff, Let's plays and things of that nature. Uh, we'll have one. We'll have one for you. But if you do the actual farm, uh, new farmer, I guess it would be, or is it new farmer? Yeah, new farmer. You start right over here with this property right over here. This is what you get, and uh, there'll be a house right here and a couple little bitty barns, and you start right here. Now, like that series, it's been a little while since I've seen this map like this. But if you've watched any of that series, you can see just how much work that I did on mine. Because there's none of these trees are here. All this is all gone. All that's all gone. And I will be building us a farm right here. But anyway, this is about the map. So right here is where you start. If you're doing a new farmer, you'll be right here. You'll have your little farm. And you own uh, this ground here. Which it looks like it's been tilled, but it's nothing. It's not even good grass, like you can't do anything with it really. So you, you can till that up and you start with that. There's um look at the map here. So you got sixty fields. They're each like eighty five thousand a piece. So we'll just look at it. I don't think it really matters where you're at. It doesn't matter, they're all eighty five thousand, so you can buy it for eighty five thousand. Um, all your stuff's over here. Your store and everything's over here. And there's a a central. I guess it's like a farm. I don't know what it is. I guess if you wanna you wanna fix it up, or or I don't know what the whole purpose of it is. I never even went there. I, I don't know. I, I farm all, I have all this in fields right now on my, on the series we're doing. And, uh, hopefully have all this in soon. We're going to buy this, turn that to field too. But anyway, this right here, it's like a central farm. And with, with all the Alien Gems maps, because this is an Alien Gem map, you get, uh, all, all over the map. Let's see if we can find them. Here we go. Right here, just tells you different things you can do. Uh moves your power line it does he put put options in it where you can get rid of everything so kind of neat but if you get here you have this old barn and, and you really just can't do much with it because it's kind of got some junk in it i guess purposely put that way so you can't use it and uh this is just centrally located right here in the middle of the map i, I don't know i guess it was supposed to be an old farm or something and it was just left to rot <laughs> but this is here to right at the middle. I, I don't think any of this is usable. Like if you buy it, I think it's all just there. I don't I don't know. Maybe you can use it. I'm not really sure. I've never bought it. But there there's that. That's in the center of the map. So you you have that. And like I said, I, I don't know if any of this is actually usable. I think it's just there. It's more of a cosmetic, and you can have it removed. I, I know a lot of different youtubers turn this into something i haven't messed with it and i don't really even plan to be honest with you if i was gonna do anything i was gonna cut it down and put grain bins here but it's got a great a bit of forestry so if you like forestry there's all kinds of forestry in there you got this canal right here you can there's actually a sign way down here at the end you can just cut it with a chainsaw and it disappears so it's pretty cool there's a lot of level of uh, customization as far as the map if you don't like certain things you can just get rid of them Somewhere, I'm sure there's a, a post you can cut and it gets rid of all the trees. But, yeah, if, you, if you're into forestry, it's it, it has a lot of good uh, a lot of good woods in it. A lot of good logs. And then with the new DLC coming out, yeah, with the logging, I mean, you know, it's just even better logging equipment. And here's your actual rail yard. This is where you're going to get your best money. If you do soybeans and you sell it right there, it's like... You're gonna get your awesome amount of money. You can sell your logs right here. And we're gonna cruise on over here. So it's got a cell point on each side. There's another cell point on the other side of the map. I've never been to it. 
never even used it so i don't really sure what's over there what you can sell but we're going to cut through the country we're going to take this route right through here but like my sawdust and stuff you sell over here and uh i mean i guess you could probably sell other stuff but as you can see the the upper part of the map's kind of made more for like farming and the lower part of the map's meant more for forestry or if you just like doing forestry or clearing out the ground so that you can build your own and then that that option is available and right here is where you sell your sawdust i think you can sell other things here as well and uh, let's look in here and there's a sell point over here we'll we'll zip over here real quick check it out and see what we got over here i've i've honestly never been over here i've, I've played this map probably I think uh, the series that I've got, I've, I've got, I'm over 30 hours into it, and I've just never come over here. I haven't come down here for anything other than clearing trees off for the, the actual series. I've never even cut trees on here, so. Let's see, what do we got here? So somewhere over here, it should be right in here. This should be a cell point. Is this like the perimeter road, maybe? No, nope, that's just cosmetic. I didn't even a thing. So it looks like you got a BGA, uh, some sort of cell grain there. There's your BGA. So that's why I don't really mess the BGA any. So that's why I haven't been over here. But if you do, if you like doing a BGA stuff, there it is. And then, like I said, you've got all this good ground to go out here too. So this is a pretty good map. Like I said, everything's pretty much located over there. It's a lot like basically like no man's land but just a modified version basically so kind of the build it your own thing which i like i like to be able to build my fields how i want i don't a lot of the pre-made maps i really don't like it i spend more time fixing the map fixing fields and so if you if you like building your stuff from scratch starting it and you like putting the work into it yourself then this is definitely a really good map to try out so if you haven't tried it out it's for all of them it's for console pc everything I'm playing it on a console for the uh, actual series, and like I said, we're taking this tour on PC, so it is available cross-platform, doesn't matter what you're playing on, but I hope this uh, helps somebody out, you want to check it out, maybe you didn't know about it, maybe you weren't sure, maybe you got a limit, I know on consoles you got a limit to what you can download because of the slot counts, but if you like what you've seen, I kind of took a quick flyover for you, let you get a good look at it, and you can see the potential that it does have. And there is some trees you're going to have to get rid of and remove, but you can definitely, uh, definitely make you a really nice farm on here. So, hopefully that helps, helps you in your decision, and I hope this was a useful review for you. Thanks for watching.